Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Showdown. This is the EPOS Adapt 560, the most comparable from the EPOS brand to the Poly Voyager Focus 2 you see that you see in front of me here. I'm David Merritt and this is Headset Advisor channel where we review all of the latest business technology, headsets, speaker phones, and webcams, review and compare all of the latest gear. So consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, let's get into the review. Of course, we are gonna do our famous blender test so you can hear the microphone and how well it performs later on in this video. And we're gonna score both of these headsets with our Headset Advisor rating to give you an idea of our opinion on these two products side by side. So stay tuned and let's get into it. All right, both of these are Bluetooth wireless headsets that have active noise cancellation and from a design perspective, they do vary quite greatly. They are, I would say, like the same class of headsets. Uh, they're very comparable, but the Voyager Focus 2 is about just a little over six ounces, where the EPOS Adapt 560 is about eight ounces. So it's a little bit lighter weight and it just has a different style. As you can tell on the Poly, it has this leather cushion at the top of the headband there. And then you also have this fully rotating speakers and these leather cushions. So it makes it uh, extremely comfortable and flexible to be able to be worn. I like the design of it. And then you have this noise canceling microphone boom, be able to go up and rotate all the way to the other side. You of course have your buttons here for volume, for call control, for mute, and it can even mute when you click this into the center position like that. Now looking at the design of the EPOS, it has a little bit of a different, just like a standard plastic uh, look. So for me, it's not as uh, visually appealing as the Poly, but it still has a very, you know, solid looking design. You have quick access to all your buttons on the underneath of the headset here for your, you know, ANC button, you have your Teams certified button, volume control, call control, and then power and pairing button. Then the microphone boom is a bit short, so we're gonna see how that performs later on in this video. Of course, when we put it up against the noise test later on, but it will go up, but it won't go any further. So it'll only go one way. So that means that you have to wear this boom on the right side. Otherwise, you're gonna be wearing it with the boom going backwards, and that's not gonna allow anybody to hear you. So it has to be worn on the right ear. Okay, so it gets an overall score for EPOS as an eight, just because the visual appeal wasn't uh, as good for me as it was compared to the Poly, which we rated as a 10. Just the, the metal, uh, the fit and finish on the Poly just seemed to look a little bit better in uh, our opinion here. All right, the next category is comfort. Comfort is very, very important because with a business headset, you're likely using it for work, maybe Zoom meetings, uh, phone calls, uh, anything like that. You're gonna want a headset that's comfortable, especially one that has active noise canceling like these two. So that helps you block out all that noise going on around you and really focus in on your work and your phone calls. So comfort is very important. So if you're listening to music, just trying to really uh, focus on your work, it's nice having one that is comfortable for all day use. And we gave the Poly Voyager Focus 2 a level 10 uh, comfort rating. 10 out of 10 is the best, just because it comes in at about six ounces. And then you have this leather cushion at the top of the headband that just makes the headset feel very comfortable. And the way they design the speakers is it doesn't put too much pressure on your ears. A lot of times with headsets with two speakers, they tend to uh, pinch onto your head a little bit, causing uh, pain in your ears or kind of giving you a headache. But I've found that this one I can wear for a very long time without fe feeling any discomfort. So the EPOS is uh, eight ounces, so it's about two ounces more, maybe 20 to 30% more weight but surprisingly it feels still very comfortable. And what I like is it feels like it creates 
a seal on your ears so that you can get better audio quality. So I do like that. And comfort wise, we rated this an eight, uh, the Poly a 10 and the Epos an eight because it's just not um, as comfortable as the Poly, but it's still going to be comfortable for all day use. Um, obviously it's gonna take some time to get uh, adjusted to it, but ultimately the cushions are thick enough that you don't feel the plastic inside. It's just uh, comfortable as far as the cushions go. So you got an eight and a 10. All right, the next category is ease of use. Now, before we do that, we're gonna throw up the technical specs so you can see how these headsets compare side by side. I'm not gonna uh, bore you with all of the details, so you can pause the video if you wanna look at the technical details further. But ultimately, these are both Bluetooth wireless headsets utilizing, uh, Epos uses 5.0 Bluetooth and Poly uses Bluetooth 5.1 and they uh, connect to your computer with a USB dongle, and they can also be paired up to your mobile phones. I don't recommend you pairing these headsets up to a computer that has Bluetooth. You will lose functionality, and one of the biggest reasons to get a headset from brands like Poly, Jabra, Epos, that, those type of brands, is because they're certified to work with your software platform, such as Microsoft Teams, Ring Central, Avaya, uh, Cisco, Zoom, those type of software. So you'll get features such as being able to mute and also answer and end calls. Now I will say Epos is not rated for Ring Central, where at Poly is rated for Ring Central. So I just want to state that up front here. So ease of use. There are already prepared out of the box with the USB dongle. So what you have to do to get them set up, plug in the USB dongle to your computer, turn on the headset, and it's already prepared, it's ready to go. And if you have any problems as far as getting it paired up, or it came unpaired for whatever reason, which happens from time to time, it's very simple to put both headsets into pairing mode. So uh, they both get an ease of use rating of nine, not a 10 out of 10 just because there is additional software that you need um, to download onto your computer for most of your software uh, compatibility. So if you want that remote answering, you're gonna have to download these extra software. Unless you buy the Microsoft Teams version, which it'll come pre-optimized for Microsoft Teams out of the box. But if you don't have the Teams version, it's okay. You can still get it to work with Teams just fine. Just a heads up to you there. So both rated at N9. All right, so Poly is for its class rated at 19 hours of battery life and 40 hours of listening time. So that is, especially for a headset of this class, it's lightweight and comfortable for all day use, is very long. So that's really good. You can have your headset if you take it with you on the go. You can have it for multiple days without the fear of worrying about your battery dying or needing to recharge. And another good thing is you can actually plug this in and use it as a wired headset. So if your battery just died on you and you need something to use, plug it in with the micro USB to USB cable, plug it into your computer and you're good to go. Same thing with the Epos actually. Uh, it's rated at uh, 46 hours of talk time which is remarkable. So Poly got a 10 rating, but Epos got an actual bonus point. They got 11 just because of how ridiculously long the, the battery is. Most of the headsets comparable are gonna be in your 10 to 20 hour range. So having that 46 hours is uh, remarkable, but it can also be plugged into your computer and used as a wired headset if your battery for some reason uh, goes out or you forgot to charge it, which to me happens more than it should. And that's embarrassing to admit, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Luckily, I have a whole store room full of headsets that I can use. All right, an important factor con to consider when selecting the best headset for your situation is the price. And the Poly is priced on our website right now for $299.99. And the Epos is $329.99. I'll put a link to both of them in the video description below, but you wanna use coupon code YouTube if you're interested in either of these models 
coupon code YouTube, that's gonna get you the best discount on these models. So uh, check that out and use that coupon code. Now, it's about a $30 price difference between the two models. And ultimately, uh, it's gonna come down to likely comfort or performance, which we're gonna test in just a second. We're gonna test the speakers, the microphone, and the wireless range. So you can see for yourself which one's best for your situation. So stay tuned for that. Ultimately, these are also available for a month-to-month -month rental for a small uh, you know, monthly price, and it includes an unlimited warranty. So if you're someone that, you know, is thinking about it, but you're not sure if you want to invest that much money in a wireless headset, our rental plan is a great option for you. Or you just want the peace of mind that you always have a headset that's always gonna work. You can upgrade, downgrade at any time. The rental option is definitely worth checking out. So it's on our website, the pricing is all there. Check it out in the video links below. All right, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get to testing these headsets out, get them hooked up so you can see what they're all about. All right, so what we're gonna do now is hook these up and test out the speakers. And what we got here is we have our microphone here. So I'm gonna play audio out of each of these headsets, put them over the microphone so that you can hear back to back uh, the audio output. And then you can also see how much decibel reading is coming out of these headsets so you can compare the volume wise difference. So let's get started. All right, so the audio quality between the two are actually very comparable. I had to listen to the audio back and forth between them um, multiple times in order to formulate an opinion. But ultimately, if I'm choosing one for audio quality, I'm actually choosing the EPOS, which is surprising to me because Poly got a rating of 10, and so we're gonna give EPOS a rating of 10. But I give the slight edge to EPOS as being uh, slightly better as far as audio quality. I found that they had a little bit more bass and I just uh, felt like rocking out to the music a little bit more on the EPOS. All right, we're gonna test the wireless range here on the Poly Voyager Focus 2. So I have some music playing in my headset so I know when the audio is gonna start cutting out. So Jeff, grab the camera, follow me out the door here. You get to see a sneak peek behind the scenes of the studio here and of course in the office. All right, so let's head out this way. All right, so the computer's just right over here, about 10 feet away, so let's keep on going. We're at about 20 feet. Let's keep it going. Now we're at about 30 feet and I'm still hearing the music loud and clear. Let's keep going. It's a bit of a windy day today, so this is about 40 feet. Keep coming. All right, we're about 50 feet, direct line of sight to the computer. I'm still hearing the music loud and clear, so let's keep going. 
All right, so the music is now starting to cut out. So we have reached the max range, which is about 60 feet direct line of sight to the computer. All right, so what we're going to do now is a wireless range test. So Jeff, grab the camera, pack your bags, and let's head out the office. You're getting a little sneak peek behind the scenes. What's going on in this YouTube studio? I want to make mention of these are all the headsets we have tested or are going to test here very soon. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, follow me. All right, so this is about 10 feet away, and the computer is just right there next to us through those windows. So it's direct line of sight. You're not going to get much better than this. All right, so you're about 20 feet away right now. I have music playing in the headset, so I'll be able to tell when it starts cutting out as far as audio on the hearing side. So let's keep going. This is about 30 feet away, and I just started getting a little bit of chopping, but I'm hearing the music fine, so it's kind of cleaning up a little bit. Let's see how much further we can go here. I have a feeling it's not going to be much. It's a windy day, so I'm hearing a lot of wind. All right, we're at about 40 right now. Still hear music. This is about 50. I'm hearing quite a bit of chopping. You're probably, it's going to switch to the camera mic if the audio is not coming through clearly in this headset right now. But I'm going to go just a little bit further, see what happens here. All right, so this is maybe 60 feet. So the audio is completely cutting in and out and unusable at this point. So going to check, double check it, but it's going to be about 40 to 50 feet of wireless range. All right, now we're going to test the microphone on both of these. Now, before we do that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos like this. So the way this is going to work is we're going to plug them into the computer and then we're going to, you know, go back to back poly to epos um, doing different tests. So one without any background noise, another with office noises, another with the blender in the background, and then the fourth one as an outside office uh, test so that you can see how they sound on the go. So let's get started. All right, so my voice is coming through the camera microphone right now, just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like without the headset. Now it's gonna to switch to the headset here. So this is what it sounds like on the Poly Voyager Focus 2 with no background noise going on, just the microphone alone. So this is what it's gonna sound like. You really wanna look for is clear audio. You don't wanna hear any chopping, any buzzing, anything like that. Sometimes with Bluetooth headsets, you get a little bit of um, you know choppy or clipping type sound. So you just want a reliable, consistent, good sounding audio. All right, so this is the ePost Adapt 560 without any background noise going on. This is what it sounds like. I'll switch quickly to the camera mic so you can get an example. So this is going through the camera mic. Now it's back on the ePost here. This is what it sounds like. And really with Bluetooth, sometimes on previous models uh, from other brands, you get some type of audio clipping, uh, distortion, that type of stuff. So you wanna listen for a clear, consistent voice and you also want to hear a good quality voice, like my voice coming through very clearly, especially compared to the camera microphone that I, I was comparing to. All right, now this is the Poly Voyager Focus 2 with office ambient noise. We're going to switch to the camera microphone so you can hear what it sounds like without any noise cancellation. Now we're going to go back to the Voyager Focus 2 here. And it's with the same noise going on in the background. And I'll be quiet so you can see how much decibels is out here. All right, so it's about 72 to 75 decibels with that office type noises. You have talking, uh, typing, that type of thing in the background. So we'll see how well this microphone performs. All right, now what you're hearing right now is office ambient noise, talking to the camera mic. Now it's gonna go to the 
ePost headset with the same office ambient noise, and I'll be quiet so you can see how loud it is in here. It's about 78 decibels, 79 decibels, uh, which is probably your typical office environment, pretty loud environment, actually. So testing one, two, three, you want to be able to hear me loud and clear and not, you know, talking, typing, that type of thing that's going on in the background. All right, now this is what it sounds like with the blender on in the background, and I'll switch the camera mic, and then we'll switch back to the Poly Voyager Focus 2 here. This is what it sounds like, and I'll be quiet so you can see the decibel reading. So it's about 80 decibels right here next to me, about two feet away from me. This is how much noise the Poly Voyager Focus 2 cancels. All right, now we have the blender test going to the camera mic. Now it's on the ePost Adapt 560 headset here, testing one, two, three, and you want to be able to hear my voice loud and clear and not all of this blending going on next to me. And I'll be quiet so you can see how loud it is as far as the blender is. Right, it's just around 78, almost 80 decibels. And it's maybe two feet away from this microphone here. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. All right, this should give you a good sample. This is an extreme example, as you should not be having a blender next to your head while you're on a meeting or a phone call. All right, we're outside here with the Poly Voyager Focus 2. This is what it's gonna sound like if you're somebody that's on the go, traveling, that type of thing. We have cars behind us, it's a little bit windy. Um, there's also cars going on down the road there. So this is what you can expect the Poly Voyager Focus 2 to sound like. You should be able to hear my voice clearly without a bunch of, um, you know, wind noise and car noise, that type of thing, as you want to be able to hear my voice loud and clear and try to sound as professional as possible. All right, this is what it sounds like on the ePost Adapt 560 when it's outside. There's cars driving behind me and also down the street, and there's quite a bit of wind blowing right now. So this is what it would sound like if you're at job sites, you're a real estate agent, you're kind of working on the go in the car, that type of thing. This is what it would sound like uh, with the EPOS Adapt 560. All right, so what did you think of the overall mic performance between the EPOS and the Poly? Put your thoughts below. Which one sounded better to you? Be curious to get your feedback. The rating for Poly is seven and the rating for EPOS is six. Just um, the EPOST to me didn't cancel out as much background noise as I would have liked, whereas the Poly did a better job. It does have um, acoustic fence technology built into the Poly, or at least that's a marketing term for noise cancellation technology um, that they advertise. So it definitely did perform better than the EPOST in my opinion. And then overall, just the, the tone of voice um, sounded really crisp and clear in the poly versus the epos wasn't as crisp or clear to me but i'm talking uh, a minute difference not a big difference so just my preference leaned a little bit more towards the poly all right now regarding durability both these headsets are very solid they come with two-year warranties and you can tell just by the build quality uh, taking a close look at the EPOS here. The build quality is solid. Um, what I like to do is just kind of um, pry and pull on headsets, like I'll pull on the headband. As you can hear from that sound, there's a stop that doesn't allow the headband to uh, come out of the headband, where other headsets, um, they're able to come out and I've tested them and I've broken quite a few headsets just in testing durability on my own. And then of course, you gotta get customer feedback. But so far between both these models, they're relatively new. So we don't have a lot of feedback as far as you know customer complaints and issues and breakage. So there isn't that concern as of right now. But just my uh, personal opinion, right now, both of these are very solid. They both get a rating of nine, plus you're covered for a full two years by both manufacturers. So uh, it's really solid as far as durability goes. All right, so after all of those tests and explanation, we have a total score of 73.5 for EPOS, and we have a total score of 80 for the Poly Voyager Focus 2. Now, depending upon your specific situation, maybe you like music 
or listening to things on the computer or you want you know a better audio experience you're probably going to want the epos even though it has a lower score there's just certain things about this headset that are different than the poly so it's not necessarily one is better than the other it's just a personal rating as far as each of these categories are concerned they're both great wireless headsets, Bluetooth, connect to your computers, your mobile phones. They'll work on your Zoom calls, your Microsoft Teams, any business communication software that you have. Now, overall, both of them are great choices and I like them both. So I like the ePost as far as audio goes better. And then I liked uh, the comfort and also the improvements in noise canceling microphone and range on the Poly. So there you have it. I hope you have found this uh, video review helpful. If so, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Also pass this video along to somebody that you think might benefit from it. And then also I'm gonna put up this video right here that I think you might like for the Voyager 1 versus the Voyager 2. So you can see the differences between the two models, the previous model and the brand new model. So you can check out all of the differences. Well, that's all I got for you this time. We'll see you next time.